Fishaholic fam, and welcome back to another episode. Just launched the Fishaholic rig with my buddy Dylan here. And uh, by the way, if uh, you're looking for some really cool extra fishing content to watch, uh, definitely check out his channel. I'll put his link down in the description. And uh, he just got back from the Florida Keys. You were down there for what, like six weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks. So he's got uh, 10 or 15 yeah. videos. videos. A lot of uh, Florida Keys videos going up soon. Uh, so again, check him out if, uh, if you're interested in finding more about that area or just uh, all over too. He fishes up and down the East Coast. And uh, yesterday, uh, we went out on the boat as well on the uh, St. Lucie River, but uh, we found some nice fish. They didn't want to eat. Like we even, we were sight casting some, some jacks that were like 20, 30 pounds and uh, like nose up to a live mullet and just circle it and then turn away or swirl at it and swim away. Also had a couple shots, some big snook. They didn't want to eat, even some redfish. They didn't want to bite either, but uh, we did catch some little snook like this. Uh, what did you say, we call like eight maybe, those little dinky yeah. snook. Um, enough to keep me away. <laughs> enough to keep us kind of going, give us, uh, you know, some, some uh, you know, keep us persistent. But uh, yeah, it wasn't that great. So uh, we're in a different area today. We're on the Indian River now, cruising out uh, to the inlet. And uh, we're gonna try dropping down there first because uh, it's the end of the incoming and then the tide's gonna start going out. I really want to catch uh, the beginning of the outgoing at the inlet. And uh, then we're probably gonna come back in, fish more in the Indian River. And uh, I think on today's menu, uh, we have an opportunity to catch uh, some maybe ju you know, juvenile Goliath grouper, Jack Craval, Snook, Pompano, uh, and maybe some snapper. So uh, yeah, let's just have a day. Stay tuned, let's go catch some fish. Let's try dropping down here to start. Got a nice, healthy little finger mullet. Knock a rig. Let's drop it down. See if we can get any bites. And by the way, huge shout out to Navalis for hooking me up with uh, this long sleeve uh, bamboo tee, which is uh, ultra soft, super comfortable. Uh, SPF 50 and I love these little cuffs that protect uh, the back of my hands from the sun and it also has a really nice hood to protect uh, the back of my head and neck from the sun and this long sleeve tee has a really cool little zipper pocket here on the side which uh, is really convenient for uh, keys or a wallet and uh, yeah I'll put a code down in the description if uh, you want to check them out and use it uh, you can save on your entire order and uh, he shout out to Navalis for supporting the channel and uh, he shout out to each and every one of you guys that uh, continue to watch and uh, in the long run of course that supports the channel uh, tremendously and it means the world to me so thank you guys so much and uh, right now we've got uh, 69 degree water temps it's uh, still coming in the tide but uh, it's definitely slowing up quite a bit and uh, I'm really hoping that uh, the action will be good once this tide switches and starts going out so uh, right now we're just kind of you know waiting for the tide to switch and uh you know maybe we'll get lucky and get something before the incoming's over but we shall see i'm even thinking of just putting this rod in the holder and maybe, maybe we'll take a couple casts with this big spook and maybe we'll uh get a big jack revol or something to come up and uh nail it Also, by the way, I brought the fly rod here, so if uh, the right scenario presents itself today, I'm definitely gonna try tossing the fly around a little bit. Any bites, Dylan? Nada. Nothing, I would reel up and maybe like cast like 10 feet over. Got a fish coming through now, about six feet off the bottom. Oh yeah, pretty big? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's uh, a pretty nice fish. He's way up off the bottom. Oh my God, my bait was gone. Uh, 
Hard to get them when your bait's gone. Fish? Yeah, fish. Fish, Dylan's hooked up. Let me get the net. If you feel him going to the structure, then you gotta kinda yeah, loosen yeah. up on him so that he swims out. I think he's a grouper. I, uh, put the rod down for a second. Ooh, I don't know. Might be a big snook. Definitely a good fish. That's kind of fighting like a big snook. Come on, come on, come on. Could be a big redfish too. What do we got? Yeah, Goliath. Oh, yeah, little Goliath. There we go. Woo! Nice. All right. Now I'm awake, baby. That's sweet. There you go. I put them on the grippers. Hook is out. Nice fish, Dylan. Thank you, man. Put me on, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, little update for you. It's uh, probably been a couple hours here in the inlet. I can't catch a fish to save my life. Did have two bites, probably one from a cuda and another from like a small jack, maybe that just stripped the bait off the hook. But uh, we're gonna make a move now because the current's really starting to rip and uh, I'm gonna probably stop off to see if uh, I can get some more bait because we only have a couple mullets uh, left in the well and then we'll uh, go up into the Indian River and uh, see what we can do over there. So stay tuned, let's uh, see if we can catch some more fish, hopefully. All right, let's see if there's uh, some Maharas or Greenies maybe right along the shoreline. Oh, there we go. Got a bunch of stuff. Didn't even see him either. Just a blind toss. All right, look at that, guys. Beautiful baits. That's it. That is it. I got some mullets. And, and a really big greenie. Look at all these marks on the screen. We were uh, heading to our next spot where I wanted to drop down and uh, I think we have to drop down right here. I'm gonna try this little uh, three inch Z-Man. We gotta figure out uh, what these fish are on the bottom. There's so many of them. Look at that thick stack of fish. Oh my God. Watch them be all catfish or something. There he is. Woo! Fish on! That's something pretty decent. Whew. Not sure what it is here. Oh boy. We might have to spot lock on these fish and keep doing this. Dude, you could probably try dropping down a live bait. Yeah. Uh, Whew. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah. I mean, this is really light tackle, but this is still a pretty decent fish. It almost looks like a redfish. Oh, it's a freaking sail cat. Oh, that's what they all, they all are. It's a massive school of catfish. All right, don't bother dropping down. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> Man, it's just an absolute pile of them down there. That's crazy. And now we got this booger of slime on my leader. All right, now let's try some of these Primo baits in here. I'm gonna put them just on this really tiny little circle hook. 40 pound floral leader, little barrel swivel. 
and a one ounce egg sinker. If there's some hungry fish here, this guy shouldn't last long. Oh, just got eight, just got eight. There he is. Fish on. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. Uh, this is a schoolmaster snapper. Cool. I was not expecting that. I just left on my bait. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably a little snapper. I think they got me. I ate one of these guys uh, recently that I caught down uh, off uh, Palm Beach and they are extremely tasty. I'm gonna send this guy back though. Sharked. Please don't get sharked. There we go. Beautiful fish. Yeah. How big was the one you got in Palm Beach? I think it was like 12 or 13 inches. It's a keeper. I got to weight it like really deep down, yeah. 80 feet of water. All right, right here in this spot, it's a little deeper, a lot more current. So uh, I added a heavier sinker now, and uh, we're gonna drop our fresh bait down. Let's see what happens. We'll give it like 20, 30 minutes here. Wow, look at that. Big fish just went on right underneath us. There he is. He's pulling line. There we go. Fish on. Ah, it's nothing too big, whatever it is. Oh. A little juvenile mutton. Pretty fish. Got a lot of growing to do. All right, guys, still kind of futile here. So on to the next spot. See you there. This is it. I feel it. I feel like something good is gonna happen. Oh, oh, fudge. There was a real hard bite. I'm not sure what it was. Almost ripped the rod out of my hands. Oh, just got eight. There he is. Fish on. Found a little snook. I was hoping it was gonna be a red. There you go. All right, pretty little fish. Hopefully there's some more. All right guys, made a little move now. This time I'm gonna try this mullet here. Get it done. I got a blue fish here the last time I fished these docks too. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, just got eight. There he is. Oh, good fish. Good fish, whatever it is. A good fish. Still got him on. Still got him. Oh God, no, no, no. Oh, he broke me off right there. Dang. Might have been a snook. I thought I played him really light, but nothing I could do there. Dang. Could have been a jack. Just tore up the leader because of uh, 
The pilings. Could have been a bluefish. I don't know. Just tell yourself it was a catfish. Or, no, bluefish. <laughs> yeah? Maybe. It's a clean cut, like, right there. It didn't get you off on the structure? It got you off via teeth? Yeah, it looks like it. Like, doesn't it kind of look like more like a cut? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hmm. I'm going to try the little swim bait now. Yeah, try one more drop. We'll try this next dock. Cause whatever was there is probably spooked now. <laughs> oh, fish on. I think it's a bluefish. That's probably what had my mullet. I guarantee you. It kind of felt like a bluefish. And there it goes. Cut me off again. Now you can sleep tonight. Yeah. Like very similar cut, you can kind of see it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Shaholics. Well, uh, we are about to call it a day. Dylan has to uh, head to Tampa right after this, right? Dinner date. Oh, he's got a dinner date with uh, your aunt, your grandma, aunt, or yeah. aunt. And, uh, you know, I, I would probably come back out after dropping him off at the ramp, but. The fishing has just been so futile and um, I hope you kind of still enjoyed this video. And uh, last weekend uh, we had a, a really bad cold front uh, where the temps in this area dropped down to like uh, 35 at night. It was only a high of like 49, 50 degrees. And that can really shut off the fishing. Uh, yesterday was slow, today was uh, not really any better. But um, all in all, I guess uh, we did catch a good amount of fish, but just yeah, we didn't get skunked, you know? nothing like as desirable as, as we wanted. And we did see one really big snook, snook that cruised by that had to be like 40 inches, or maybe over. It was just monstrous and was so round and fat because the water was so clear. We could see it clear as day. But uh, anyway, uh, check out Dylan's channel. Uh, he's going to be doing some fishing over on the West Coast now after this. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, please like this video, subscribe to both uh, channels. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.